Most traders spend hours tweaking strategies, switching brokers, changing indicators, but almost nobody looks at the one thing that actually connects them to the market, their computer. And your hardware has a much bigger impact on your trading than most people realize. It affects how fast your charts update, how smooth your indicators run, how quickly your orders react, and how confident you feel when you're making decisions. We're gonna go through a lot of things here, starting with your CPU, RAM, storage, GPU, monitor, internet, backups, operating system, ergonomics, and three complete build tiers from beginner to pro. Trading platforms are heavier than most people think. If you're running multiple charts, scanners, level twos, watch lists, Chrome tabs, maybe Discord or Zoom even. If your machine cannot keep up, it doesn't slow down gently. It lags, freezes, or delays the data you're seeing. And that brings us to the example traders deal with all the time, slippage. Slippage is when you click buy or sell, expecting one price and you get filled at another. Most of the time it comes from liquidity, volatility, routing, things you cannot control, but your hardware and internet can make it worse. It won't eliminate slippage, but having the right setup stops your side from making it worse. CPU, the engine of your trading machine. The CPU pretty much handles everything. Chart updates, indicators, scanners, news feeds, backtesting. Trading platforms rely heavily on single core performance. A weak CPU is the biggest cause of slow and laggy charts. A good rule of thumb, look up pass mark scores. Anything under 25,000 is too slow for serious day traders. Around 40,000 and over will give you a smooth and future-proof experience. These numbers do shift over time, so always compare against the current generation i7, i9, or even the Ryzen 7 and Ryzen 9 processors. RAM, your workspace memory. RAM is where all your programs live while running. If you don't have enough, your system starts swapping memory, and that's when you feel micro freezes. 16 gigabytes is the absolute minimum, and 32 gigabytes is ideal for traders. And most importantly, stick to reliable brands such as Corsair, Kingston, G-Skill, and Crucial, because RAM is usually one of the biggest reasons why PCs crash or go through the blue screen of death. Storage, the speed of loading and caching. Storage affects platform startup, chart history loading, data caching, backtesting speed. So as you might already know, there are three common types of storage. NVMe SSD, which is the fastest, SATA SSD, which is okay, and then a hard drive, which is pretty much unacceptable for trading. Always choose an NVMe drive if you want your system to feel quick and responsive. GPU, for multiple monitors and visual smoothness. The GPU doesn't speed up your strategy, but it absolutely impacts your experience. It handles multiple screens, chart redrawing, visual stability, avoiding stutter or flicker. Many traders try to run three or four monitors on integrated graphics, and that's when weird issues start to begin. Flickering, freezing, outright crashes sometimes even. You don't need a big gaming GPU either. An RTX 3050, 4060 is more than enough usually. Motherboard, the foundation of reliability. The motherboard affects power delivery, cooling, USB stability, RAM performance, and network reliability. Stick to brands such as Asus, MSI, or Gigabyte for the most stable platforms. Monitors. Layout matters more than resolution. 4K looks beautiful, but for trading, it's impractical. Text gets tiny, scaling breaks for older platforms, and response times are slower. 1080p or 1440p monitors are easier on the eyes, sharper at desk distance, and faster altogether. Internet and network. Just as important as hardware. Always use wired ethernet, low latency matters more than speed, upgrade your router if you're still using a cheap ISP box, a weak connection feels exactly like a weak computer. Backup systems, your safety net. A serious training setup needs a UPS battery for power drops, a backup internet source like a hotspot, a surge protector, a backup laptop or PC that is ready to go. Trading without backups is asking for disaster. Operating system. Windows is still king for traders. You can trade on a Mac if you use web platforms, but if you rely on a desktop app like Think or Swim, Ninja Trader, TradeStation, or even Bookmark, Windows is more compatible and more stable. Most professional traders use Windows for a good reason. Ergonomics. Underrated, but important. Long sessions are a part of trading. Your body is a part of your setup. Get a comfortable chair, use monitor arms to bring screens to eye level, and keep warm lighting behind the screen to reduce eye strain. Small changes make a big difference. Now onto the build tiers. For our beginner or entry level, we're gonna use the most recent Intel Core i5 or the Ryzen 5 processor from AMD, 16 to 32 gigabytes of RAM, depending on your budget. An NVMe SSD is crucial, and you can start off with an RTX 3050. Two monitors should be suffice to get you started. 
intermediate, an Intercore i7 or Ryzen 7 from AMD, 32 to 64 gigabytes of RAM, two terabytes of NVMe, and an RTX 4060 or 5060, which is good for three to four monitors. Now onto the Pro, an Intel Core i9 or a Ryzen 9 from AMD, 64 to 128 gigabytes of RAM, a fast NVMe storage, preferably a PCI Gen 5, an RTX 5070 or 5080, which should keep you good for up to four monitors. So to wrap it up, your strategy, discipline, and risk management matters, but your hardware is the foundation everything sits on. Quick disclaimer, this is trading hardware guidance, not financial advice. Thank you for watching, and if you want a full build guide or specific part recommendations, let me know and I'll cover that next.